Okay, first of all, guys, this is the topic in today's agenda. We want to talk the difference between these two kind of indicators, leading and uh, lagging indicators, some popular examples we want to talk and how do they work, of course, pros and cons of all this uh, kind of indicators and some, uh, I want to show you a little bit strategy, how you can use different uh, things. So uh, this is me, not really important. So that's the more important guys. That's my wonderful colleagues from Admiral Markets. It's a Forex and CFD broker with more than 8,000 financial instruments in more than 20 countries. We have offices uh, placed, licensed by a lot of things and spreads, you know, one uh, really competitive spreads we use by Admiral Markets, no minimum stop distances. That's the most important thing for me as a trader. And uh, yes, of course, we use MetaTrader 4 and 5. Okay, let's go on, guys. What are lagging indicators? I guess that's not nothing really new for you, but maybe you take a little bit pen and paper and write down your aha effects. And uh, as I said, some questions, type in the chat box and let's see what we can talk to each other. So first of all, a lagging indicators or lagging indicator uh, is just on following a trend and it's a little bit like a prediction to the price reversal. So it's more a trend indicator and uh, such lagging indicators always following an event. So this uh, don't signal upcoming changes in prices. That's the uh, that's the uh, the, um, the the other one, but uh, only indicates whether the, the current price are or increasing or decreasing, so that you can invest accordingly. So to make it really clear and to make it uh, in short, lagging indicators they will show you what you can see right now. So, and um, I guess this is really important and I have my own opinion about indicators and, uh, and, uh, and, and oscillators, of course. So I use they very less differently and wisely. So most of the thing you can see in the chart, you don't need too many of that uh, indicators. So they follow an event, but to be honest, the event was before. So the, lag, the lagging indicator is following something else, what happens already in the market. So to be honest, why should I do that? Why should I, why should I use them if I can see what happens in the market? So if I have increasing prices, so okay, the indicators is following. <laughs> for example, so it's really easy. And uh, but of course, it shows you a little bit where are you in the market. And you know, this is my special kind of opinion. The where is always more important than the how. I can get into the market, and it's so really important that you always know where are you in the market. So this is just like a little prediction of the price reversals and um, not upcoming changes. They're following some events in the chart. So this is a little bit so like a lagging indicators. Okay, leading indicator, leading price movements indicators are designed to anticipate the future, to give the trader an edge in trading. This is a difference. The one, the lagging following an event what already happened in the past and the leading indicators give you an, an edge because it show you a little bit about uh, based on probabilities, the future. Le leading indicators gives us more opportunities to trade by providing early signals of entry or exit. So, and this is uh, what I meant when I, this is a little bit the, the big difference between leading and lagging indicators. So let's repeat, lagging indicators shows you what you can see right now in the market, not a prediction of your future. It just only follow an event what already happens in the past. So, and what you can invest, you can following accordingly. 
and the leading indicator is just an edge in trading. So it shows you a little bit reversal, just a little bit what can happen in the future and a little bit more opportunities. So this is the basic difference between lagging and leading indicators. So some popular uh, examples uh, in leading and lagging indicators, just, um, just have an overview about my, um, this one. So, and uh, let's start first of all with uh, some leading indicators like uh, RSI for example and uh, volume but I want to focus right now with you on the RSI just only we want to pick up one because actually let's see um, open our um, Admiral Markets and you can open it here on view and navigator so uh, let's put this away so look on this left side right now what you can see this is almost a, a huge universe of, um, of the markets, of uh, different, um, how should I say, of different uh, uh, indicators, um, lagging and um, um, leading and lagging indicators. So you can see, oh my God, look at this one. Trend following almost, it's almost um, limitless universe of uh, this oscillators and indicators volume uh, jesus uh, different things uh, i cannot explain it the right way it's it's too much it's definitely too much so that is the reason you have to focus maybe on this what you need for your own strategy so let's see uh, a leading indicator like rsi relative strength index it this such an indicator measures the uh, momentum or the strength what you can see in the chart and mostly so like uh, this one like uh, relative strength index put it in the chart so and yes whatever so and now what you can see uh, at the moment so let's see you see, first of all, in this leading indicator, you have a really, how should I say, really uh, falling prices. Maybe this one, let me show you. Let's take this one, this down move to the lower side. So what's happened in this RSI, in this leading indicator, it shows you, okay, it's just in an oversold state right now. And this is what I meant when I said, such a leading indicator, can give you the information what can happen based on probabilities the next time, for example. So afterwards, you can see we are so deep in, uh, in an over, oversold situation. Okay, the, that means the momentum, the strength comes to an end. The price is getting weaker and weaker. And of course, based on that information, you know, we have buyers and sellers. Trading is always just like market. If you go to buy something else on a store or on the market, on a fair, and you want to buy tomatoes or apple, you know, you give money and you get tomatoes back. Just, it's a trade. It's, um, yes, it's market. And uh, in trading is in, in Forex, or in, especially in trading, basically, it's always the same. If you want to buy Euro, you have to uh, unsell on. You have to. You need to unsell on the other side. So it's always the same. Never forget this interesting point. It's just always a market, and uh, you think you are right, but the other guy on the other side is also thinking he's right with that. What he do? Uh, what with that? What he does in that moment? So and this kind of indicator like an RSI, so you can see MACD, CCI, such things that measures the move and then measures, that measures the strength of the trend of the movement right now. So and now in this example, you can see, okay, we have a big strong decreasing price to the lower side. We are oversold. Okay, and now the sellers begin to cover the positions and more buyers will come into market. It's a logical system. 
because that was, I mean, a leading indicator can show you what can happen right now or at the next, not just on following. It measures and it will show you movements, bounces, reject the prices, something else. And for that is RSI a really interesting indicator that you can see or like MRCD as well or CCI, stochastic, um, same all that all that uh, stuffs so and volume of course so what can you do right now in such a situation how you can handle it how you can have an edge of this situation that's really easy you cover your position oh you open a position to cover this trend you it's just like counter trade it's against the current trade trend but you have this edge that you know okay more maybe more buyers come into the markets than sellers because the last move is going to be weaker and weaker and the market will cover. So this is like a leading indicator like RSI. But now I will give you an interesting idea how you can, um, how you can, um, how should I say, um, Having how you can having more edges about uh, this one, uh, this uh, kind of indicator, and it means divergences, especially if you use RSI or if you use MLCD as well. What does it mean? The price and this indicator shows you that something is getting wrong in the market. Let me show you. Look at this one. If you connect the crucial lows to each other you can see market goes up and goes down it's just like a trend no more no less but now you can see the following information of such a leading indicator you have a low but now you have a higher low in this rsi in the price you have a lower low but in the rsi you have a higher low this is called so-called divergence. The market is uh, divided to each uh, uh, differently ways. What kind of information you get? Interesting, weaker prices, weaker prices, weaker prices. Now if movement comes definitely to an end, and this is what the RSI can show you based on probabilities. It's not granted guys, it's always based on probabilities. But these two points that are the crucial points in using such an indicator like RSI. I hope this is a little bit understandable. We grab a little bit on the surface with that, but uh, it's, it's also a question of time, you know, but it's just for your understanding that you know the most important things about such crucial, uh, crucial uh, indicators. Okay, this is a question or this is an example for such a popular uh, indicator like RSI. Do you have any questions to that right now? Type it in the chat box, let me know. Do you have any questions to this slide, to this example, then let me know. And if you watch this video on YouTube, if you have a question to this slide or to this point right now, type it below this video and let me know and I get an email or Admiral will uh, inform me and then I will get you an, an, an answer. So I see nothing in the chat box. I think I'm really good. <laughs> I explained it really well and I get you, I hope you understand it. Okay, guys, let's go on. So next indicator, we want to see a lagging indicator. So and just such, such a lagging indicator, we use a really easy thing for that. Just, um, yes, let's uh, use it a little bit to the lower side. And now we have an uh, example for, um, how should I say, a lagging indicator. And uh, let's see, uh, let's give, an example here we go here we go this is just moving averages so let's see a little bit here okay yes that's gone a little bit different color for example yes so you see 
This is lagging indicators and moving averages. This is a kind of lagging indicators. What does it show you? Really nothing. To be honest, really nothing. This moving average is what the name is called. It's the average of the current move. So the red line shows you it's a 200, um, 200 moving average. So it's the average of the last 200 candles or periods, whatever you use. So maybe we have four hour here charts here. And if you see this lagging indicators follows what happened in the market. So if you have strong falling markets, this trend line or this moving average follows the curse or follows the price. So if you cover the price, you see it's gonna be more on the, on, on the sideways phase. And, but it's just like a trend. So you see, it's just like a trend and you see always this red line follows the price. So there is nothing more, uh, more or less. If I scroll a little bit in, so you can see three other blue lines. That's the first one is the 200, then is the 50 hundred, and this is the 20 hundred, uh, sorry, the 20 moving average, 20 hundred, the 20 moving average, this is the 50 and this is the 100 uh, moving average. It means it's the average of the last 100 periods, 50 or 20. And the smaller you are in the number, the closer this moving average follows the current price. So therefore, Basically, there is a quote in the, in the charts or in the market. If you have a price above the 200 moving average, you are basically in a long trend and you follow the long trend. If you have a price below the 200 moving average, you are basically in a short trend and you have to follow the short trend. So, and now, Please guys, write it down what I, what I say you right now. This is based on my almost more than 20 years experience cause believe me one point guys, you can see all these indicators on the left side. Believe me, in the last 20 years, I tried almost every single damned indicator. And there was one and only result. Do you want to know this result? Be patient. I will tell you a little bit later. But now I will give you an interesting information. So just sec, uh, if I can see here. So first of all, I can create with you there a strategy. If you want to see a strategy, how you can work with that, just a couple of minutes, then I want to show you the next one. So uh, leading indicators, examples. So here we go, I have to continue with my slides first. So that's the little bit examples of RSI, like a leading indicator and a lagging indicator. So, but first of all, we have to tell, uh, we, have to, we have to talk about the pros and cons and how, does, how uh, the indicators work. So the pro of a leading indicator it gives you signals when a trend is starting, is about to start. How you could see in the, as you could see in the RSI, we had an overbought, over, an oversold situation and a new trend is possible to start or is possibly starting right now. So this is the pro of a leading indicator, of a lagging indicator. It follows the price action and determine the trend. So like the 200, as I said, above it's more long and below the this 200 uh, moving average is more than uh, short. Is the more intense moving average suitable for scalpers? To be honest, yes, a little bit for scalpers. It's in really interesting that you ask that Give me just a couple of minutes, then I show you a strategy, especially for scalpers and swing traders 
I guess the majority of our listeners are more than uh, swing traders. But this is a really interesting question and I give you definitely an answer to that. So I know that we need to look for a convergence to open a transaction. Is it better if we mix the leading indicator with a lagging indicator or it doesn't really matter? No, Sandra, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't it, it's really important because you have two different expressions of this, of a leading and a lagging indicator. And let me uh, give you a little bit correction, not a convergence, because a convergence is a trend a determination. Uh, if you have a really good, interesting idea, then you use divergence. So as I showed you, but we want to create a new a strategy. Give me uh, a couple of minutes, Sandra, then we can talk about that. So. Um, and this is the pro and cons first. This indicator, leading, leading indicator, um, gives you the information. Okay, the current trade maybe comes to an end, and a new trend is starting right now. Maybe like this divergence, Sandra. You know this like divergence, lower low in the price, but a higher low in the RSI or MSCD. This is one of the strongest technical signals you can have in chart. So, and uh, yes, a lagging indicator, like the moving average, just it's not really important. Most of the times there are some interesting situation where is it interesting, but it follows always the price. And it's like a de uh, determination of a trend, no more, no less. This is the special, how should I say, yes, uh, note or, just let, let me, I miss this one, one word. Statement, yes. My Jesus Christ, I always forgotten this, this one word. So this is just a statement of this legging indicators or message, what you can hear, you can see if you have a rising price, the moving average like a lagging indicator will following the price and it's just like a determination of a trend of a current and valid trend rise now. So, but now guys, the cons. The cons of a leading indicator is it's tends to react the prices quickly, which means they are prone to false signals. So, this leading indicator. So maybe, and this is an interesting situation, let me explain. Leading indicator, you know RSI, for example. And you have it in an oversold state, like, we show, uh, like I showed you a couple of minutes before. And you said, okay, now the trend comes to an end. And you open a position blind into the market. It could be a false signals. Maybe you can have a small up prices and the price fall down back. Therefore, you need to have an, an insight of how this indicator really works. And I will give you amazing strategies how you can work with this thing. But it, it, it's uh, such indicators, especially for scalpers, guys, especially in the short term uh, time frame. 50 minutes, five minutes, one minute, then can the, this indicator doesn't work really well, doesn't work really well. And it prones a lot of false signals. Therefore, it's a basic statement, guys. The most important money comes from the huge markets, from the a long run or from the long term time frame, like four hours five hours. So actually, I have two trades running, for example, in uh, British pound Swiss franc and British pound Canadian dollars. I'm, and at the moment, I'm in profit with more than 800 pips based just only on rules, no more, no less. So, and the con of a lagging indicator is they are slow to react and they are also can give false signals. You know, lagging indicators follows the price. But there is an interesting situation. And this, you can write it down, what is really important, what I say right now. If you have 
such an indicator. This is a secret. I open the secret box right now for you guys. And if you have maybe the 200 moving average, that's just a lagging indicator, and you have this in the horizontal face, like a sideways face, there is no valid statement of it. The best situations will create it by a sharply or steeply curve of such lagging indicators. Then they work really fine like a support or like a resist if they come from up or if they come from down, it's just like a really big support. But if they work in a horizontal line or in a sideways face, they, does, they, they don't have any statement or value of that. I will show you in the, in the chart right now. And then they create a lot of false signals. And that if you realize that, you can reduce your false signals or you can you reduce your losses a lot. And you can create both of them. And this is a great strategy, really easy. It's not a mathematic uh, exercise. It's not a rocket science. It's really easy, but you have to think about that. And let's see some examples. And uh, just first is pros and cons. Yes. Um, but first of all, let's switch a little bit. I, it's, it's really interesting. Um, interesting to hear about divergence. Some good traders hate to apply divergence in their trading decisions. Can you comment? Baram, uh, to be honest, it's, uh, it's of course, it's a private opinion. But I'm engaged in trading since 20 years right now. And um, of course, how should I say? It's a kind of private working style. And I always focused on the price. And you know, maybe my three T's, trust the trend. Three T's, write it down, it's really important. Trust the trend. And there are two things, they always work in the market cause they're based on the nature of every kind of trading. That's the trend. Why? The trend is based on movement corrections. Movement and corrections are based on uh, supply and demand. And this consistently changing of supply and demand is based on what? Of course, you and me. More buyers, more sellers. The reason why it's not interesting, it's a fact. The reason why it's not interesting, it's a fact that we have sometimes more buyers, sometimes more sellers. Then more movement, more correction, correction, and then the trend. That's, a, that's all. That's the nature of trading. So, and then the next one is the price. Don't forget that even we talk about indicators, oscillators, and something else. And this is uh, really interesting, guys. I guess this is the most important thing. Everything. Please write it down what I say right now everything what you can see in the chart is based on the price you don't trade euro usd you don't trade dax you never trade dow it's just the name but you trade the price of this currency pair you trade the price of one contract DAX. You trade the price of one contract DAO. If you go to a store, you have to pay the price you can see in the chart. You have to pay the price. Okay, doesn't matter, you can buy strawberries, you can, strive, you can buy bones, uh, beans or something else, whatever you want. But you have to pay the price. If you don't pay something, you get nothing. That's easy. And it's in trading as well. Therefore, I teach all my clients in my Dao family. It's always the same. 
switch your focus away from this kind of underlyings. It doesn't matter what you do there. You always trade the price of something else you can see in the chart, whatever this kind of name it is, DAX, DAO, Beate Use, share, whatever you want, cattle, whatever, coffee, orange juice, British pounds, Swiss franc, whatever, doesn't matter. It costs something. There is a price. And therefore, about the question of Baram, it's a question of uh, information, what kind of statement you get from the market. So and if you have such an, how should I say, such a divergence, there is a special statement from the current price. And this RSI, for example, like an, uh, a leading indicator, it shows you overbought, oversold situation or so-called divergences. And this is one of the strongest signals. Yes, of course, in one minute as well. But the higher you are in the time frame, the more valuable is this kind of statement. So what does it mean, such a divergence? It means the price drops down more and more, but without any power anymore. Please, guys, don't forget this statement, this expression. It is a market. And the well-known or the really experienced traders start to sell their positions very early because they were very early in the market already. They are experienced trader never wants to be at the early stage or get out at the latest. They cut the best piece of such a movement. But the unexperienced traders, they get into in every kind of movement. They always have fear to miss something. So and if you, and let me, I will show you a strategy for that. And this is interesting. This is my command. It's one of the strongest signals, this kind of divergence, because this kind of divergence shows you there is a mismanagement in the market right now. Something is wrong right now. The price falls down and falls down, but these indicators can not measure anymore some strength, some power. This is just a mismanagement, no more, no less. And this is a special statement, especially in the higher time frames. And I will show you, I bring you the proof, of course. Um, as a beginner, I don't use divergent because most of the strategies are not re categorized for beginners, don't use it. Um, I cannot agree that. Sorry, I cannot agree. This is one of the easiest trading strategies ever because it's visible. You can see it in the market. And let me, uh, Sandra, I cannot agree with that because there doesn't exist a beginner strategy. Markets, guys, trading is not like uh, preschool, high school, university, master school of business class or something else. You have one class, you have one market. There's not a, there's not a, a, a gaming place. It's just one market that doesn't exist a beginner strategy. Either you have a strategy that works for you as a human, as a people as people as a guy or woman or not if you are a scalper or not that's the point there's no beginner strategy it must fit to your to you no more and no less so and um, strategies let's see i will show you uh, here right now in the market so first of course let's talk about this kind of, um, how should I say, divergence. This is one of the easiest trading approaches ever. Cause what kind of statement you get here on the market. And it's always the same on the lower and of course on the upper side. So for example, 
you get into the market, you see, this is a downtrend, of course. And then you get to the, in the market here at that special point. You can see the price goes up and how far? Oh my God, it's interesting. To the 200 moving average. It's interesting. And here you can see this moving average comes really steeply down. It's not a horizontal line. It's steeply down. And look at this one. This is really, really amazing. Can you see it? Here, steeply down, the price bounced exactly there. Just talk about it, Sandra, okay? Just uh, we share our opinions. I only share my experience with you. There is no right of uh, correctness or something else. This is only my experience about the market. But you have to listen what the market is going to tell you. This is the point. Our opinion doesn't matter the market. Doesn't interesting for the market. It's just only probabilities and strategies, more nor no, more no, no less. But what is the statement of such a divergence? Look at this one. It's the correction. And now you have a trend continuation, but without really big continuation, because you can see the price is getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And after this big divergence, the market is going to react. And you see the following this lagging indicator follows the price is going over into a horizontal line. And there you have your false signals. You see? That's really, really interesting. But now you have a completely change of the bias cause from downtrend to uptrend and we overcome this 200 moving average line. So, but you can see the same thing if you make it a little bit bigger. Look at this one. Let me just delete. And now look at this one. Can you see, I want to delete this one as well. Look at this one. You have a low here and a lower low. And look, look at the, the RSI. Do you have a lower low there as well? No, you don't. You have a double low, especially a little bit higher low. And what happens afterwards? Let's have a look. Up, you see? That is one of the easiest trading approaches ever if you work with divergences. It's not trend trading, it's the start of a new trade, a new trend maybe. So you ha can have small divergences and big divergences. If you are maybe uh, in five minutes, Jesus, you can see exactly the same. Let's see if we can figure out something else. Um, mm -hmm. on the upper side as well. Let's see, it's uh, not always there. It's not always there. Convergence, it's uh, not. So let's see, not here. Let's see, maybe in uh, maybe one minute. Let's try it in one minute. Okay, do we have some divergence here? Maybe, no, not really. It's not really. So, ah, not. Not really. So maybe in daily chart, yes, that's a little bit. But um, I didn't find, find any one right now. But I guess you could see what I meant with, uh, with this kind of divergence. It works on the upper side and, of course, uh, on the lower side as well. And now, a little bit back to, um, to Baram. He asked me about, no, it was... Uh, it was um, another way. I don't know the right the name. I guess it was about scalper. So maybe there's an interesting situation. Scalping means you have to you have to have a look at the overview about four, four hourly charts for for especially. And if you can see the price comes up to this moving average line 200, and you can see oh my God, there's an interesting chance. Use this situation switch to the out to one minute chart and use the bounce or this rejecting of the price to make a short scalping trade. And this is the combination between such a moving average in a higher time frame and for a short scalp in one minute for a small or a scalp to the lower side. 
Yes, it's a, it's a dangerous thought, yes, of course. But scalping is always dangerous, always. But it's just like a strategy. And here is another strategy. Divergence is, you use this information of the price. And the other one is how you can use, for example, this moving average. And this is the situation. Look at this one. If you have such a sideways phase, you have a lot of false signals. But if you have a steeply falling moving average, really steeply falling, or um, on the other side, look at this one. So you see there, the price comes up. You have a steeply falling moving average, break out and back, just like a resist. Or here as well, look at this one here as well on this side, on this side. You see a rebounds exactly on this steeply uh, moving average. And of course, on the other side as well. But always, if you have a steeply falling moving average, it works always like a resist or if it comes from down, it's just like a support. And these are, these are really, really uh, easy strategies how you can uh, use lagging and uh, leading indicators. So, and this is just an example how I use it. And I use it always really easy. I have my market profile indicator. It shows me where I am in the price. And look at this one. This is an amazing, an amazing strategy. Easy, but really amazing. See, can you see the divergence, Sandra? Can you see it? Look at the lower low, a lower low and far away from the current price. And you know, the behavior of every price is go back to the, to the fair price. And can you see it? It's a big, clear divergence. And you can see it goes up and up and up and up. And it's always the same. So this is one of the easiest trading approaches and strategies ever and ever and ever. So, and if you put maybe moving average in it, for example, then you can see here exactly the same. Look at this one, the strategy as rejecting the price exactly of this steeply coming down moving average. Sideways phase, don't use it. But if it comes really strong from the lower side, it's just like a little bit of resist uh, or a support on the other side. So you can see that was really, really easy, easy strategies, how you can use such indicators lagging and leading. And guys, that was the most important thing. Give me a couple, two or three minutes then I give you how you can follow me, Paul and Jens, of course. The conclusion leading indicators are designed for, to anticipate for the price movements to give the trade an edge in trading. You see, leading indicators like RSI divergence. Lagging follows the price, no more or less. Use it when they come steeply, avoid to use it if they are in a horizontal line. No, a lot of false signals. You should not so lately rely on both of these indicators. That's the big danger of this. Never, it's just not the holy grail. Never, you should set up a trading strategy using both of these indicators. And you can follow me here, guys. That's the last week you can join in our session. And let's see, I want to show you how you can get it there. Uh, let's see, not here, here we go. So, and here you can see, no, not there. Here, just a moment. In Traders Yard, it's a free community and there you will find Trading Spotlight community, as you can see. And for only this week, it's free. After this week, latest next week, you need a deposit real life account from Admiral Markets to get into this group. Actually, 
you make a registration at tradersyard.com. If you have this free registration, go on offices and trade, uh, open this group trading spotlight community. And there you will find a button it called um, request or uh, join. Then make this and my colleague will give you this invitation and you are a part of this wonderful community. As you can see, you can give me a short, you can make a private message, of course. Then uh, Jens and me and Paul, we shared our trading strategies. You see, we, you can see the, the, the webinars and some speeches and of course my open trades with entry exit and so on. We will never leave you behind after this webinar. Let's get in touch in this amazing trading community. Free only this week till Friday, then you need a deposit real account. Open account right now at Admiral Markets, put some money on it, latest next week, and then you can get into this week. It's completely free for you. So guys, this is our trading spotlight community. Next time on Friday, my wonderful, amazing, congenial co colleague Jens will talk about the five add-ons for MTS, MT Special X Edition Mini Terminal Answer on Friday on 2 p.m. London time. Follow the link, guys. And I want to say again, thank you for your lifetime. I hope we need to send a message to get an invitation. No, in this webinar, just a moment, in this, uh, in this trading spotlight, look at this one again. Okay, go to tradersyard.com, make a free registration, then to offices, then to offices, and then you will find this group, uh, my or under the button all, trading spotlight, and then you will find here a special link, a special button, you can click on it, and then we will see uh, such um, an invitation and then you are a part of it. My colleague will do that for you. Okay, guys, it was a wonderful session. Again, I wish you all the best. Thanks for your lifetime. And I hope we see each other in this trading group, in this trading spotlight community, and we can get in touch together and let's make trading great again. Be careful about your thoughts because they are the beginning of your actions. See you. Bye-bye.